Hello everyone, it's System Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Age of Engineering. And in between episodes, well, I did a lot of, lot of, lot of crafting, a whole bunch of crafting, and uh, I tripped to the Nether. I had to get a whole bunch of quartz, and uh, yeah, it was a thing. So I did a ton of crafting, like a lot. So in processing, uh, I set up everything we needed for a reactor. It, it's not too bad. It's just it's a lot of stuff. So we'll go over it real quick. Uh, I had to make nine reactor chambers. So the reactor chambers. They're just basic machine casings and lead plates. Those are easy. I had to take three of those and then use it to make the nuclear reactor, which are these dense lead plates. So nine lead plates compressed and uh, oh, advanced circuit, which we've already made. Not a big deal there. Uh, and uh, a generator, not too bad. So the reactor itself, not too bad. Uh, I made an MFE. Uh, this is going to be able to output 512 EU. Uh, we are then going to convert it, but uh, I wanted to be able to take the power. So yeah. It's a thing. It's tier 3 power. We're then going to throttle it down with a transformer, MV transformer. It has 4 million uh, capacity, which is kind of the reason I kind of wanted it. Have a nice big battery. Um, this is the MV transformer. These things are super cheap. Um, also, get to the expensive stuff. I had to make 28 overclocked heat vents. These things are expensive. Uh, electric motors. I think I had to make 56 of these for the entire setup. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, might not have been 50s. It was a lot. Anyway, I had to make 28 just for this. Then iron plates the match. So four iron plates for every one of them. Plus iron bars. Plus another 28 copper plates. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 28 times 8 copper plates. Then 28 times 4 gold plates. And uh, there you go. They're expensive. I also had to make 12 of the Capota heat events. Which was more of the motors. More iron plates. More iron bars. Just lots of stuff. And then... Uh, tin iron and all that jazz uh containment reactor plating i had to make six of those and they are mostly advanced alloys they're not too bad lead plate then yeah three advanced alloy per uh and i had to make one component heat exchanger so that is not too bad just some uh copper some tin a circuit then some gold plates so you can see you can see this is very expensive i also made i think this is eight diamonds worth of glass fiber I think it is. Yeah, it was eight diamonds worth of glass fiber. Make energy and dust. Two of them to bake six. So it worked out to eight. And I just crafted it all up because why have it sitting around? And we'll use it all. I think that's all the components. I think that's everything. So let's go and uh, get to work here. The first thing we're going to want to do is get a hazmat suit. I haven't made one yet. We need to make the fuel rods still. So I thought I'd go through that process just so everyone know how to make the fuel rods. And, uh, you know, do that stuff. So let's grab some orange dye. We're going to need, I know we need glass. I think we need an iron bar. Boom. And we're going to need some rubber. So let's grab that stuff. Uh, and you need the hazmat suit whenever carrying around radioactive material. So mox fuel, uh, and enriched uranium or the fuel rods. Yeah, you're going to need the hazmat suit. Or you're getting all kind of horrible debuffs, and it's not a good thing. I need string here. I think I only need about, what, 16? I just need some wool. It's pretty cool. Throw that there. Mess things up. Mouse tweaks won't let me do that properly, so we'll do that. Uh, we want, uh, that's here. Let's go to hazmat. Has. There we go. Bam. We'll make the hazmat suit. We're going to make the, the hazmat leggings. We're also going to make the uh, scuba helmet, is it? Scuba helmet. There we go. And we're going to need the rubber boots. Rubber boots. There we go. Uh, right there. There we go. So we got our hazmat suit. That was pretty cool. I'm going to slide that off. I guess I'll throw it in there for now. And uh, we'll just get that equipped. So, yeah, we're orange. We kind of look like Kenny from South Park. <laughs> but that's cool. Let's... uh. Get this goad here so i don't need that rubber let's get rid of that one thing i know i need because i used almost all my iron plates is some of this so let's get this cut down really quick and a block cutting machine there we go let's get rid of that and get rid of that wool uh we're going to need the canning machine so let's make that really quick canning machine not that one that's the one we made yesterday we want this one the tin canning machine there we go it's not the tin canning machine. I called it the tin canning machine because you got to use tin cans to make it. Which, if I ever had to make a machine with tin cans, I probably wouldn't use it. We just put uh, tin item casing in here on extruding. 
and you'll get your cans. So we're going to do that. Come on. There we go. And we're actually going to need, trying to think here, 28 of these. Uh, also put in th here through extruding. These are going to make us, uh, what are they called? The f fuel something. Uh, fuel rods, which we actually stuff the uranium in. Because when you're working with uranium, the first thing you want to do is use a canning machine to fill it up. <laughs> Seems like a horrible idea. I know I need circuits, so I'm going to make those too. Uh, that. Did I keep some iron plates? I think I need some iron plates for that. Let's grab those. We are going to need... Let's see here. Let's go back to canning. Of course I just left it too. Fantastic. Basic circuits. Uh, wires. So let's just grab... I guess 12 of those. There we go. Why'd I grab 9? I'm doing horrible things. I put the wrong pile back. Anyway. There we go. There we go. And we'll make two of those. Then we'll go to the canning. What do we still need? Just the casing. Excellent. And there we go. We have our canning, solid canning machine. There we go. Throw that there right now. Uh, I'm going to grab some overclockers from something. I'm not using the compressor right now. Let's throw that in there. There we go. And our... Are they almost done? No, I'm kind of power hogging this right now. And this is why we need our power so bad. So let's uh, let's actually make the enriched uranium. Let's do that. So I don't know if that's enough. That'll make 32. I guess I need mostly the uh, smaller ones. That should do. Anyway, that is not going to work at all. I don't have... I'm doing horrible numbers here. Let's just grab stuff. Let's just grab stuff and get it working. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And this will make 21, right? There we go. There's 21. Uh, we're going to need some more, so let's do that. We need another 7. We need 28 fuel rods because uh, we're going to be doing 7 quads. So quad fuel rods. There we go. Let's save the rest for now. Bam. Oh, I need copper plates too. I know I don't have any of this stuff anymore because, well, I used it everything I had for backup, all that extra stuff for... Uh, the uh, crafting of the reactor because it just took so many resources and I was just sitting here in front of these machines waiting all day <laughs> wishing for it to be done so I had more power so things would go quicker uh, let's grab that we need about 15 of that there we go uh, we need to take that fuel now what did I do with the fuel? uh oh uh oh okay now we're going to take this uh, enriched uranium fuel and we're going to throw that in the canning machine uh, we're also going to grab our, where are they at here, 28 fuel rods, and we're going to throw that in the canning machine, and we're going to start canning uranium at a pretty good pace. I think it actually take more overclockers. It's only 13 EU, but I'll wait. Uh, while that's doing that, though, let's see here. Anything else that we need right away? Let's get rid of that. I think we're pretty good. I am going to need a transformer in this to make sure it doesn't blow up. Probably a good idea. And that should be everything. So I'm going to let that go. We're going to go down here and we're going to start building the actual reactor room. And I'm going to use fuse quartz. Most people use reinforced stone from IC2. So reinforced. Uh, where is it? Reinforced. I can recognize it if I see it right here. This stuff. You make a CF sprayer. You fill it with CF powder. Uh, no, you don't fill it with CF powder. You put CF power in the liquid form, um, which you can just either buy using CF power on water or with the fluid canning machine and you spray uh, scaffolds so the IC2 scaffolds where are they just to go yeah these ones here the reinforced iron scaffolds spray that with the power I guess it's these ones um, it'll just make reinforced stone but we're not using that because it's actually not as blast resistant as this stuff uh, fuse quartz will block the reactor blast a hundred percent where if I use reinforced stone, I would have to add about three layers. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I actually didn't know about this at all. Uh, someone in the Discord channel for this pack, uh, there is a Discord, um, which I think you can see on the curse page. Um, Will, well, he told me, and his name is, uh, what is, what's his name? Red Catone, I think it is. 
Uh, he's one of those guys that just knows everything about Minecraft, and if he doesn't know it, he can look up the information in like 2.5 seconds. I think everyone knows someone like that. They're scary people. I asked him to live at my house, and he, he, he declined. Uh, just, you know, whenever I needed information, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm putting stuff in the wrong places all over the place, and it's frustrating me. Okay. Anyway, this is going to completely block the reactor blast. And I actually tested it. It does work. Uh, I took it into creative. Uh, it's 100% safe. I mean, the only place we're going to have to worry about, you know, things coming out, it exploding, <laughs> the power, and if this reactor blew up. This is a very safe reactor, by the way. Extremely safe. You'd have to make a pretty big mistake uh, to actually have it blow up on you. Um, but, you know, it's always possible. Bad things happen. People play when they're tired. Uh, <laughs> friends come around and start moving things. You know what I mean. Uh, bad things can happen. So it's good to be ready. But uh, this reactor should be very safe. I think I got everything there. That, 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 that. I guess it would go... One, two, three, four. Yeah, I had it here, right? This was the plan. And that'll be our 5x5. Five five. Yes, our 5x5 five five with interior 3x3. Three three. I just need a little small reactor chamber. I should have enough of this now. Uh, do I have iron plates on me? I do. Do I have copper plates? Yes. Let's go do use on them. And we're going to turn them into the quad fuel rods, just with some copper plates and that. We have seven of those now. So we actually now have all our components for our reactor. One thing I do want, though, is one of those and one of those. We'll want a lever, uh, mostly just to test it. You can turn your reactor on and off with it. Um, I'm going to be using the MFE to actually throttle it, so that's kind of a thing. Uh, we're also going to want to replace all these cables. So I'm going to get good work on that real quick. And we might as well take our generators out of here too, because they really are going to serve very little uh, purpose after this point. They are just fuel wasters. I've actually stopped making charcoal, so that is a thing. Uh, wrench. Probably go into here, here, here. Go into hitter. Do that, do that, do that. And I guess this. Uh, that, that, and that. There we go. We got, uh, all that out of there. That should be fine. We got all our cables separated. I'm going to hook up the glass fiber. Uh, I'm going to use glass fiber simply because power loss. That's just to minimize it. I'm not one of those per people that cares about extremely high efficiency because if you really want this efficient you'd want to do lines of say five machines then some glass fiber and just just very short you know you do five you put the actual power right here and then you move it between the five machines it limits how much your power loss but i'm going to be producing tons of it so i'm not really worried and we're going to have more power coming we're probably going to have more reactors <laughs> I'm really not concerned. I'm just making sure I got everything here. Though. Let's actually go put the reactor in place. And get that set up. There we go. So the reactor. I guess we just need a placement block right there. We'll take the reactor there. The casing's here. We'll put the reactor right there. Put that there. One side. One side. One side. Break that. There. And there. There. And there you go. That's a nuclear reactor. And here you got the chamber where all these components go. And they have, depending on where they go, completely changes the reactor. So I'm going to be doing this off screen. Um, I kind of remember where this stuff goes. But I don't remember where the rest goes, I don't think. No, nope, that goes here. That goes here. That goes here, I think. See, I think it's like this. Then I could add in all the other components. I mean, I need to fill this thing. The only thing I'm sure about is every one of these is going to get one of these around it, I'm pretty sure. And again, pretty sure I might end up having to move this. Oh, no. That and that. There we go. And uh, I think that goes there. And this is actually the most important part. But uh, I'm going to have to go look at my image and uh, put in the rest of the stuff because, like I said, I don't remember the exact order everything goes. Um, if you want to get this reactor design, literally search Google for uh, IC2 420EU reactor, and you will get this image. But uh, you'll see it here in a second when it's done. I'll be back in a sec.
And okay, there we go. I've got everything in here. It only took me about, you know, two minutes to get the rest of the stuff in here. Just had to look at the image, make sure I do it right. Make sure, if it, look at the image, make sure I'm doing right. I had the rods right and the overclocker right, but there were four more that had to go up here for the overclockers. So yeah, four here. And then the plates, the rest of the stuff I had to look because there was no way I was remembering where the components and the containment, containment reactor platings went. But um, that is good to go, and that's actually safe. That's actually completely safe. I have no worries about turning this on at all. Oh, I got lag, and boom! <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, this thing is going to start, you know, producing power. I'm wasting power right now, so I'm not going to leave it on very long. But these things have a durability of 20,000. I think it equates to about five and a half hours of fuel if it's turned on constantly. Um, if it's working properly and you've got everything in here correctly, you should see no core temperature. And the only place where this thing could fall apart is right here. But uh, it kind of bounces up and down the numbers. Like they go down, the durability goes down, that it brings it back up, down and back up. Um, I think the magic number when it balances out that I've seen is 4817. When you start seeing that number, you know it's where it should be. But uh, I've never seen it drop down to 46, like 4600. Uh, it'll bounce it'll go back and forth it's completely normal and it should be safe so i'm actually going to turn that off right now everything seems to be working i did not do anything horrible and uh nothing's exploding so we're pretty good there so we're going to go upstairs and uh do the rest of this and uh get the rest of this done i guess come up here there we go make sure i'm under the hole i'm up there there we go i have to clear that out later i need to get a proper ladder for down there i've dug out all down there and uh haven't really set it up uh let's take a mfe i'm gonna put that right there that's gonna be our main power you know it's gonna pump the power out all in a power pump way <laughs> does that even make sense i don't think so i want this facing i guess this way there we go no oh, no 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 Shift right click, make it flip around. Um, and this is just gonna be, take the power from right now, it's gonna output, it can output a packet of 512 EU. This is only pumping out a packet of 420, so that's not really a big deal. But this is gonna turn the packet into 128 EU and uh, just, for, you know, make these machines go, uh, which is kind of the plan there. So, bam, bam. Bam. And I could break it up into several packets or add more transformers to these machines um, and make it so it could take the power. But I am just going to do this because I know the rest of this power is going to end up being used for mass fat for the mass fabricator and the um, molecular transformer. So there's really no use um, for me at this point. But uh, I'm actually going to take this now. I'm going to hook it up. So let's get it hooked up. There we go. That is actually all hooked up. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to change the settings on this. Not emit a full, partially filled, partially filled or empty. Basically, what that's going to do now is control the reactor for me. I'm not going to have to do anything. All I'm going to have to do is go in there when the reactor is empty and fill it up with more fuel rods, which will automate later on. I'm just not going to do it at this point. Um, but yeah, this is going to run for a long time. It's going to power up when this reactor sorry when this battery the mfe uh gets to four million it'll stop sending a signal it'll turn off and we won't have to worry about it it's as simple as that it's actually pretty sweet and works pretty well our machines didn't blow up so everything is right one machine yesterday i said didn't need a transformer upgrade it was the centrifuge and this one does need a transformer upgrade if i did not have that in there right now it would blow up so um i put an extra one in there i actually made an extra one by mistake but that's okay. We'll need it later on. And uh, anyway, now our machines can take up to 128 EU. Uh, so all these machines, I could run most of them at the same time and not worry about power. Uh, even the centrifuge, I could probably put uh, at least one overclock in, the, in there. Because this thing is so slow. But uh, everything's good. Everything's running. It seems to be stable. I kind of want to see this turn off. And just make sure that aspect of it is running but uh it looks like everything's working good and proper so pretty happy with that um i am going to be moving these machines around pretty soon too so i'll have some on this side some on that side and i'll just do you know kind of a different setup something that makes a little more sense especially when we get into automation so the metal former 
I'm going to need several of these. I'm going to need one for extruding, probably one for ruling. Uh, I don't need cutting, I don't think. I'll definitely need ruling and extruding. Um, you know, things like that, though. So, not a big deal. But, uh, anyway, pretty sweet. The one other thing I want to do here, though, is take this and encase it in uh, fuse quartz. This, this wire hole. This wire hole is the one flaw <laughs> with any reactor. Um, this is the one place on your... I need a little more blast. I'm going to actually make more, some more blast cores just to cube that out. But uh, basically right now, if that reactor was to explode, the only place the power could go from the explosion is straight up through that wire hole. It would shoot up like a gun. It's literally like a gun. It's, it's actually pretty funny. If you go and do creative, fill it full of quad rods, flip the reactor switch, you know, explode, have a kind of setup like this. And you'll just see it just blows out a tunnel of about 20 or 30 blocks in one direction. And uh, yeah, so this is going to kind of stop that. So it's, it's coming up here. I'll hit this wall. Maybe a tiny bit will bleed out here. I might lose a couple things. I think it'll only go about five or six blocks. But I think it only does it on the single plane at this point. So it hits here. A little bit of the blast will blow it here. So I'd lose the transformer. I'd lose this cable. Probably my heater and maybe a couple hoppers. And that's all I'm going to lose. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And like I said, I don't think this, this, think this thing is going to blow up at all whatsoever. So <laughs> you have to do something pretty silly with this setup. Uh, with the liquid cool ones and the other ones, I mean, it's a little more risky. This one is so safe. I mean, it's here. There we go. And there's that number I was talking about. 4817. That is the magical number. Once you get there, your reactor's stable. It's just going to bounce around that number. Nothing bad's going to happen. You're good to go. If you see that number on the component heat exchanger after a couple minutes, you know you've set everything right. You've got no core heat. You're good to go. This thing's not going to blow. It is stable. And, uh... Pretty awesome. We now have 420 EU. We're only utilizing, you know, a fraction of that. But uh, in time, we'll use it all. Anyway, I think that's going to be all for this episode. I mean, we set up a reactor. We did our creation of fuel rods. We made our machines. Nothing blew up, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we're only utilizing 128 of it right now. But pretty soon, we're going to utilize more. So I'm not really concerned about that. Um, this reactor is going to... It's working great. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's going to work for many hours. Um, it'll turn itself off when I'm not using machines, which is great. Um, in time, it'll get us depleted fuel rods um, that we'll be able to turn into... Uh, what is it? Plutonium. So you get these things. Go here. Boom. Go to use. And you can throw those through the thermal centrifuge. We'll get these ones, actually. It'll give us the tiny piles of plutonium, which we can use later on to make plutonium which we can then use to make MOX nuclear fuel or the pellets of RTG. And that's used for a lot of crafting uh, for advanced generators later on. And these things are EU power producing machines, actually. But uh, yeah, just uh, all pretty cool. Pretty cool. Went well. Everything's good. The only thing to be careful of is after you have this setup, this kind of setup, if you're going to add a new machine, make sure you break your wire connection because <laughs> you need to get the machine down and then add... Uh, transformer upgrade or bad things are going to happen <laughs> anyway i'm going to end this here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated i want you guys all to have a good one i'll see you guys in the next video later